As part of Capitec's ongoing commitment to improve numeracy and financial literacy across South Africa, the Capitec Foundation recently hosted a math tutor event at Palm Ridge Extension 6 Secondary School in Gauteng. The foundation focuses predominantly on maximizing the potential of our youth and the sustainability of their future by assisting in the development of math educators. The math tutor program is aimed at um, helping high school learners with skills to do better in mathematics. It's an after-school program which we've developed as a way of assisting high school learners who have a potential of doing better in mathematics, but we're also helping to develop future teachers by recruiting university teaching students that are being trained and assigned to learners that they tutor in schools um, in provinces where we are present. The program has got multiple outcomes. The one is for us to develop future teachers, and that is the reason why we are utilizing students that are starting to be maths teachers, because that when they enter into the profession, they've got a better chance of succeeding in their first and second year of teaching in the real world. The second outcome is to help develop learners so that when eventually they reach grade 10, they opt for maths as a pure subject as opposed to maths literacy. When they pass matric, they will have entrance into university, and they will have better opportunities in terms of career options. We are planning to expand the program through the digital platforms. We are aiming to reach more learners across provinces. Next year, we will be in nine more schools in the Eastern Cape, KZN, Gauteng, as well as the Western Cape. Now in his second year of teaching in a full-time position, Khupulang Lecheta is one of the graduates who benefited from the program, which provides guidance, mentoring and vital skills training to enter the workforce. The program helped me a lot in teaching me certain skills, but most importantly about how to teach in small groups, but also very importantly about mentorship. I was mentored by Dr. Yuri and Dr. Chris, and they deposited a lot of knowledge into how I practice my teaching and manage my classroom. My love for maths and science was ignited by my life sciences teacher. I think he was a very, very important role model in how he conducted himself, how he presented his lessons and how he presented the profession generally. So I think he's the one who really ignited my love for science and mathematics. When I took a gap year in 2015, I realized that I think I've got a love for teaching because I was assisting my little brother who was still in high school back then. And I think I really helped him get through high school. And then shortly after that, I realized that I think this is something I want to do for the rest of my life. And here I am today. I studied at CPUT. I did a BA in education. I'm currently doing my honors at Stellenbosch University in curriculum inquiry into mathematics education. Equipped and ready, Khopolang started his career as an educator at Kiro Delft, an innovative and technologically advanced high school. He has quickly made a positive impact on learners and staff, and headmaster Phil Sneiman is proud of his achievements. This wonderful man I met uh, back in 2019 when we started recruiting staff when we opened the school. He just came out of university and Mr. H, as he's commonly known, has immediately impressed me being a young man with a lot of integrity and also a love for teaching and also his subject, which is mathematics and natural science. Teaching of math and science are very important. It's part of our philosophy whereby we focus on the teaching of mathematics, science, robotics and coding, which we believe would be the critical skills that the kids would need going forward. My teaching philosophy is one that is one with the learners. So I'm not necessarily teaching them, but I'm learning with them. I'm part of their journey and I'm part of what they're learning and what we are building together. Knowing that what I do, it matters, not only to the lives of the learners, but also to the community at large. That's what makes me get out of bed each and every morning. I think that he's a really dedicated and inspiring teacher. The way he teaches us to work is really great. And if you struggle to understand anything, you can always reach out to him. He's always there. With my older siblings not getting a tertiary education, it was really, really difficult being the first. But you've not seen anyone who has done it in your family. And not many people in the area are also educated. So it was very difficult to kind of find that breakthrough for yourself. I've really had to work extra, extra hard 
to get to where I am today and where I'm going still. My low is definitely the loss of both my parents, my dad in 2018 and my mom in 2020. Those were one of the most difficult times in my life. But definitely my high was when the whole street celebrated my graduation. My parents have always motivated me to go for what I want, but most importantly, to get an education. I think they'll be really, really proud of where I am in life, what I've achieved, and the person that I've become, not only to myself, but to my siblings, and the role that I'm playing in even people that are in my community. They look up to me. The message that I would like to relate to people who come from similar backgrounds and who also don't have parents, I think they should find a sense of hope that it's possible for anyone no matter what the circumstances are. So I want when they look at me, they should see an emblem of hope. If you would like to develop your skills for a more sustainable future, you stand a chance of winning a 3,000 Rand cash prize courtesy of Capitech. Simply reply to the competition post on the insidersa.co.za social media platforms using hashtag livebetter. T's and C's apply and can be found on the Insider Essay website. Log on to the website for details on the competitions and prizes featured in this week's show. Join us again next week as we celebrate living in the moment.